Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz. Now Wargaming have released a sneak peek at what to expect in update 1.8. Well, I've got a little bit more from you. This is an official leak of what you can expect. Now the first thing you expect is this dynamic suspension. Well, what exactly does that mean? I mean it looks cool, it's a new graphic. Now basically what this is, this is an aesthetic upgrade to the graphics basically in the grain to make the tank look a little bit more realistic. What would the tracks following its proper suspension and the sag? It will be applied to every single tank. It uses a realistic physics mode to sort of track the movement of the tracks. It gives it that real sort of realistic look. It is going to be available on every single tank in the game and it will be configured individually for each. Now the thing is your device needs to support the high graphics element so if it doesn't then you're not going to be able to get this I'm afraid. But it should be supported anything from 2018 onwards. We also have new looks to the tank. These aren't new camos by the way, these are a new aesthetic look. Basically it's a new high quality visual. It will accurately represent canvas and the shine on metal, dust and snow, mud and water, basically. Again, it will not change the parameters of the tank, it doesn't add anything other than a more realistic feel and better, more high defined graphics. I mean, personally, I think it looks fantastic. And again, you need to get it set to that high preset that will be a new sort of, that will be the bar. They've sent it to Ultra Graphics and it will work fine with anything 2018 onwards. Again, I, I mean, I think it's fantastic and it really, really makes the tanks shine. Then, of course, we have the long anticipated new American Heavy Tech Tree. Starting at tier seven with the M2 Yo, moving into tier eight with the M3 Yo, then the M5 Yo, and then finally with the M6 Yo at tier 10. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I mean, these tanks look pretty, pretty weird, um, but I am looking forward to them. And like most American heavies, they've got pretty, pretty poor lower hull armor, but they've got pretty decent turret armor. And with these strange curves, you're gonna get quite a lot of bounces off them, guys. And the tier 10, well, that comes with two guns. One is a 105mm three-shot autoloader. The other is a 120mm two-shot autoloader. So that tank is gonna give you numerous options depending on your play style. Again, they may look odd, but boy, they look really cool in a weird way. But a welcome addition to the tech tree line, nonetheless. We're also gonna have a new battle pass coming with a new tank. Unfortunately, I don't know what the name of that tank is. It will be it will be dressed like a racing car and available like all the tanks at level 35. There's also going to be three events, but this video is only showing two of them, I'm afraid. There is, of course, a birthday event, which you're seeing on the screen now. And there's also this, the shooting gallery, where you have the chance to win a brand new tier five German medium tank, which to be fair, does look like a Panzer IV. I won't lie, but you also get the chance to actually get a German tier seven Kunz Panzer, which is a light tank, so that's gonna be interesting. There's also gonna be a souvenir shop where we have to grab something cool, apparently. Don't know what you can grab. The admission is free, actually, so I'm told. All you need to do is attend. And that's about it. That is a more of an in-depth breakdown of what to expect in, t in update 8.0. So it's gonna be a great one, guys. We're looking forward to it. Let me know your comments and thoughts below in the chat. And until the next time, wow. Stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking. That is what it's all about, having fun and being happy.